What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. Alrighty, so we finally made it to the Pewter City uh, area, and uh, yeah, we're not taking a tour of the whole city. We're just going to be going through important part, points of this whole area, uh, one being the gym, because uh, yeah, we need a gym badge in order to get to uh, the next place. You know, that kind of stuff. So as you can see, this place is famous for the Pewter City uh, Museum. And uh, there's actually one thing that has always, you know, been on my mind. Why is this area free? And apparently there is something right here. There is a hidden Pokeball that you can actually find right there. So that's one big, uh, you know, a fact right there of uh, or a little factoid of the city. Now, if you go right here into the Peter City uh, Museum, you'll see two individuals in the back. One being a professor or, you know, some scientist. And he's going to be, you know, talking about something. Or he's gonna they're hitting they're hitting there somewhere but if you pay 50 bucks you'll be able to see everything here from fossils the moonstones and all that stuff and that's exactly what we're gonna look at aerodactyl fossil of a primitive rare Pokemon and this guy right here is like I should be grateful for my long life never did I think that uh, never did I think I would get to see the bones of a dragon one can say it is a dragon but it really isn't and here we have Kabutops now, those, these are the fossilized Pokemon that you will eventually see, and uh, let's see, this person right here is like, uh, yeah, a Pikachu soon, I promise, I want a Pikachu. It's so cute! I asked my daddy to catch me one. Well, I am not going to give you mine. Remember Pokemon Yellow? He asked me for that. And, uh, well, let's see, this month we're running a space exhibit. Well, not much of a space exhibit right here, guys. All you're going to find is fossils and, uh, you know, moonstones and all that stuff from Mount Moon, which we'll, uh, we'll eventually get to. And, uh, well, that's pretty much it right there. The big story for this episode is going into the Pewter City Gym, because that is uh, the home for the first gym badge. And, uh, you know, hopefully we get all the glory and all that stuff. You know, the pokey bitches and all that stuff. Pewter City Gym, Leader Brock the rock solid Pokemon trainer. So let's go right ahead and to and, and just do this. Let's just get this. So if you talk to this guy right here, he's gonna be like, Hiya, do you want if uh, do you want to dream big? Do you dare to dream of becoming a Pokemon champ? I'm no trainer, but I can advise you on how to win. Let me take you to the top. Uh fine, sure, why not? Alright, let's get happening. The first Pokemon come uh, out in the match is the left of the uh, Pokemon list. Huh. By changing the order of Pokemon, you may gain an advantage. Try different orders to suit your Pokemon or your opponent's party. Okay, I thought you were literally gonna tell me or talk to me about the <laughs> talk to me about these Pokemon, uh, how to defeat the gym leader and all that stuff. But you, you, yeah, you're no help, no help whatsoever. So if you go right here, you go. The winning trainers is Gary, so he's always gonna be a step ahead of you right here. Why even bother? So. We got one trainer waiting for us, and uh, let's see, if I remember correctly, uh, Aaliyah's not going to work right here. And of course, I'm at a huge disadvantage because we got Godzilla, so let's go right ahead and see what this guy has to say. He's like, stop right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. That's what they all say, but they all lose eventually. So here we go, Camper Liam wants to battle and he's going to be coming out with his Geodude right here. Oh crud, huge disadvantage. And uh, well, I'm going to be going with an Ember attack right here. Trying to get, trying to beat with an Ember attack is no good because it is a fire type, but we do get a burn right here. And uh, well, if you guys don't know, wrong type Pokemon, very, very defensive, but I got a burn on it. So I'm very, very lucky for that one right there. Now fire type are weak against uh, ground and and rock type Pokemon, so you you guys should be uh you guys should be aware of that one right there. And uh, well, he's he's just opening his defense right there, and just like that we defeat him with just a burn. And bam, level 13 for Godzilla Godzilla. And uh, look at that, it learned Metal Claw. Now that was one big surprise when I played Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red, was that I knew that I was picking my favorite Pokemon. But I did not know that it was going to learn Metal Claw. So this is actually a huge surprise, and it will actually help us in our gym battles right here. Now he's about to use a Sand Troop, so I'm going to give our good old buddy Pick Hammer a chance right here, because why not? But the only problem is I haven't trained them, and uh, <laughs> yeah, we're going to be screwed right here in just a little bit. So we're going to scratch our way through this whole, this whole thing. And uh, as you can see, he's got a very, very worse scratch 
than than we do. So let's go back to Godzilla, Godzilla. Please do not faint right here. Sandshrew, of course, is not a rock type Pokemon. It is a ground type. Luckily, it doesn't have any kind of ground type moves just yet. And uh, we're gonna go straight with that Ember attack right here. Oh yeah, and uh, it seems that you guys want to up your defense. Why won't you attack me? I don't know. And uh, just like that, Sandshrew has been eliminated, and Godzilla gets a lot of points. Pig Hammer grows to level five, and it doesn't learn any new moves. And Homeboy's ears like, darn, what ears isn't time? It measures distance. You think? Jesus. Okay, so that's one guy down. And uh, let's see. Got to stock up on uh, potions right here, guys. You really have to. So I'm gonna actually do that for Pig Hammer. Not that it needs it. I'm gonna go straight with Godzilla right here since it does have Metal Claw, and uh, hopefully it works out for the best. Usually, <laughs> usually I, 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 I'm very prepared for this, but <laughs> it's gonna be a little hard right here. So let's go right in and take on Brock, the gym leader. So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter. Uh, I'm Pewter's gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are rock, are all rock hard. <laughs> have true grit determination. That's right. My Pokemon are all rock type Pokemon. <laughs> You're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then. Show me your best. Alrighty. All right, I'm just stretching right now, guys. Trust me, this is going to be fun. It's going to be very, very fun right here. Bring it. And of course, we're doing this for the music. I love the music. Legendary gym battle, or gym battle music right here. So here we go. Leader Brock would like to battle, and he's coming out with his Geodude. And I'm coming out with Godzilla, Godzilla. Anywho, going into the, <laughs> into the next screen. Yes, guys, this makes its return, and I've made quite a few changes. Yeah, stop being lazy. And uh, I'm just showing you Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red's uh, Brock right here. So as you can see, Brock does have two Pokemon. Geodude at level 12 and Onix at level 14. They are both rock and ground type Pokemon. Now, if you started with either a Squirtle or a Bulbasaur, you guys are money right there. Because they, are, they do have a, a huge advantage against these rock type Pokemon. Now, if you're going with, you know, a fire type Pokemon like here, you know, Charmander... You're going to have to train them up in, in Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red to get Metal Claw. Metal Claw, of course, is a physical attack, and uh, yeah, it will only up its uh, attack every so often. But if you do have a Water, Grass-type Pokemon in the beginning, you guys are money. So let's go back right here, and let's go ahead and take this guy on. So let's go with that Metal Claw. Hopefully this takes him out real quickly. Oh my god. Very, very defensive Pokemon, and of course, he's going to just... He's just going to keep on uh, doing the defense curl right here. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to Metal Claw away, hopefully get an, uh, a boost in energy, or an attack right here. And uh, there's still nothing, but as you can see, it's very, very physical as well. So here we go, Metal Claw again, hopefully for the win. No! Super effective though. Yeah, this guy is going to keep on doing that, uh, that defense curl. It's going to keep on going for the defense curl right here. So here we go again with another Metal Claw, and that takes out Geodude. How about that? Oh yes. As you can see, level 14, here we are. And uh, he's going to be coming out with his, with his Onyx, but I'm going to be sticking with, uh, with Godzilla right here. So we got two level 14 Pokemon right here, and as you probably already noticed in the, in the previous uh, page or the previous uh, screen right there, Onyx is the one that you should be worried about because it does have Rock Tomb and it will be like it will lower your uh, your attack or no it will lower your speed right there so be aware of that if you're not in the situ or if you're in the situation that I am at as you can see we're going toe to toe right here Squirt or Godzilla versus Onyx and this guy is super defensive and luckily for me it hasn't used its uh its Rock Tomb attack but I think it's building up to doing that as you can see super effective. And there is that Rock Tomb attack that we've been dreading. And, oh my god! Oh, no! No! Okay, so we're pretty much screwed right here. Yeah, we are screwed. 20 minutes later. Okay, let's do this again. That's right, guys. I'm back! I'm ready to kick your ass again. So here we go. Second attempt against Brock. <laughs> and we're ready this time. 
We are ready this time because I did not read on the other screen the other weakness that these Pokemon have. And yes, that is fighting type Pokemon. So I failed to do that with uh, Pig Hammer. So after a nice amount of uh, battling and training, yes, I trained up Pig Hammer to level 10 so it can learn Low Kick. That was the one move that I was waiting on. And of course, it takes a lot of slack off of uh, Godzilla right here. So as you can see, we're definitely... We're definitely, uh, yeah, at an advantage right now. So this will actually help us against Onyx because he does have that Rock Tomb attack. So as you can see, bam, that's how it feels to lose. Pig Hammer's finally getting some right here. And we're going to stick with this guy because, you know what, if it does train, we do, we still have Godzilla in his, um, in his Metal Clone. So here we go. There's that Bind attack that we don't like being squeezed. No. Here we go. Low Kick. And that takes a lot but we're still getting strangled right here. So let's go, one more low kick. Oh my God. So here we go, low kick attack for the win. That is how you do it. Suck it, Onyx. Suck it, Brock. And there you go, Pick Hammer gets his. I knew I had you on my team for a reason. I'm just being an idiot, that's right. I know, I can already read the comments, guys. So he learns Karate Chop, and that is how you win a gym badge right there, guys. So after an hour of training my Pokemon, and he's like, I took you for granted. And so, I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer on you this, the official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. And there you go, guys. First Boulder Badge, first badge ever in, well, in this walker right here. Of course, the Boulder Badge is like, very, very mystique and effectiveness and all that stuff. If you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables you enables the use of the move Flash outside of battle. Of course, a Pokemon must know the move uh, Flash to use. So there it is, guys, our victory, finally. And he's like, wait, take this with you. We get ourselves the TM39, and that happens to be the move he used to kick our ass in the last battle. ATM, technical machine, contains a technique for Pokemon. Using ATM teaches the, no the move it contains to a Pokemon. ATM is good for only one use. Generation 3 and 4, and 5 and 6. Not 7. I could be wrong. So, when you use one, pick the Pokemon carefully, anyways. TM39 contains Rock Tomb, it hurls boulders at the foe, and lowers its speed. There are all kinds of trainers in the, in the huge world of ours. You appear to be very gifted as a Pokemon trainer. So let me make a suggestion. Go to the gym in Cerulean and test your abilities. Don't mind if I do. Alrighty, so I'm feeling like a pimp. I got, you know, a badge. Not through pity, but through hard work and dedication. And this guy's like, just as I thought, you're a Pokemon Champ Material. That's right. That's right. Pokemon Champ Material. Alrighty, so that is one badge down and seven more to go. And uh, yeah, you guys already saw the blunders of Draven for not using uh, Pick Hammer earlier. Hopefully that won't, that won't happen in the next team badge. I promise you it won't happen. So, stay tuned guys, in the next episode we will be going uh, to Route 3 I think, yeah, Route 3, 4, Route 4, Route 3, I don't even know, it's been a while guys, stay tuned, I'll be back for another episode of Pokemon Leaf Green, see you guys.